Talk about a divergence in tech stocks, though, guys. Amazon blew past Wall Street's second quarter earnings forecast. Profit topping $2 billion for the first time ever. The boost coming from continued dominance in online retail and growth of the cloud business, Amazon Web Services. Revenue was just shy of analyst estimates, but within the company's guidance, Amazon shares set to open at a new record high. Pick whatever metric you want. Yeah. What's impressive here is the web services business and this new advertising business is making Amazon a very profitable company. If you're a retailer, you've got to be freaked out that they can just keep prices low and keep dominating industries because they've got this very strong backbone of the cloud business and the advertising business. So many. I mean, the ad, we talked a bit about the advertising business becoming an important kind of third player after Facebook yeah. and Google to some extent. Of course, you could imagine because people go to the Amazon platform with intent to buy, clearly, uh, and that's uh, attractive to advertisers. Up 64%, that's after an accounting adjustment. That's a huge number. By the way, that's high margin revenue. High margin revenue as well at AWS, which is up 49%. Reacceleration, actually, of revenue growth there. These are higher margin revenue categories, certainly much higher than the actual old, good old fashioned retail business. Uh, and they can't seem to control the profitability, Melissa. In some ways, Amazon always tried to kind of control it to the extent that they didn't want to make that much money. It seemed to work very well right. for them. Now it kind of almost feels as though it's out of their hands. They just, these had these high margin businesses, mm -hmm. those two, not to mention, of course, over 100 million people paying them $119 a year for Amazon Prime. We should also note that they decelerated spending on headcount as well as fulfillment in the second quarter. So you also have to wonder a little bit how much of that lever do they actually um, push in order to achieve the profitability. I agree with you in terms of the higher margin businesses. Those are real highlights. And on the on the ad business, I mean, a lot of analysts are saying this is just getting started. As a percentage of total revenue, it's very, very small. And you mentioned people going to the site with the intent to buy. People are also going to the site as just a substitute for search. So you have that yes. incremental, no, it's, right? I mean, right? You want to see well, what something costs? You, what better place to go than Amazon? Yeah. They'll tell you exactly how much it costs and how much it'll cost to ship. The only interesting part is revenue growth was okay and unit growth was a little weak in terms of actual selling stuff. Uh, I, the old business that they used to, yeah. I, I mean, I, was, I think I was watching your show where Gene Munster was sort of puzzled by the positive stock reaction to the res revenue miss. Right. Mm -hmm. But I guess the profit levers are so powerful here. Expense control, as yes. you mentioned, and just the growth of these businesses. AWS is now, what, a $6.1 billion business for Amazon. $6.1 billion run rate, right? I mean, that's the quarter, right? For the so, quarter. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're talking almost $25 billion and growing 49%. I, I, when do we see that kind of growth? Um, there it is.